All right, so let's do this problem. We have 3.3 here. And what we're looking to find are the currents I1, I2, I3, I4. So that's what we want to find. As well as the voltage at this node. Now, to start off this problem, let's write out Kirchhoff's current law. And we're using this node at the top here this whole node. So remember Kirchhoff's current law is N equals out or you can write it also as N minus out equals zero. So let's go ahead and do that. So N we have eight and then out we have I1 minus I2, minus I3, minus 20, minus 20, and minus I4 equals zero. Now here we only have one equation and we have four unknowns. So we need to somehow solve this. Well, the other thing we can take a look at is our V naught, our V zero, V naught. Um, we know that that is equal to the current, like I1, times the resistance that's flowing through I1. So we know that's I1 times 10, but it's also equal to I2 times 20. And that is equal to I3 times 30, which is equal to I4 times 60. So we have all of these, uh, volt all these currents times the resistances to equal the voltage. Okay, so this should give us enough equations to solve this. So I'm gonna go back to our KCL equation. I'm going to use this equation here. So we have 8 minus I1. And we know that I2, so if we solve for I2, we know I2 is equal to 10 over 20 I1. 10 over 20, because all of these are equal. So minus 10 over 20 I1 and do the same thing for I3. We have 10 over 30 I3 minus 20 minus this I4 which is 10, 10 over 60 I4 and that is equal to zero. Whoop. I messed up here, made a mistake. These should be I1, I1 there, I made a mistake. Okay, so we have all of these and all in terms of I1. We solve for I1 and that is equal to negative six amps. And once we know I1, we can put that in for I1 and then use the same technique for I2. We put in all terms for I2 and I2 comes out to be negative three amps. I3 is negative two amps and I4 is equal to negative one amp. So all of these are actually in the opposite direction. These are actually flowing this direction. As you can see by the negative signs here. The last thing we're to find is V naught. And V naught can, is equal to one of these. We can just plug that in right here. We have negative six amps 
times 10. And that should equal negative 60 volts. And that is our solution for V naught.